did you uh, join the circle, D? Let's just put it straight, D. Why do you think, if you have any reason, do you think that the, the club should allow you to continue being a part of this family? I guess is the most simple way to put it. There isn't one. I don't fit. I'm stuck in my old ways. No matter how hard I try, I continue to make mistakes and made many poor decisions. The club has shifted into a different direction that I do not fit in. My only goal for the club was for it to be independent. And it has achieved that and exceeded that in many ways. It doesn't need me. And understandably, only a few want me. Since my return, I've brought nothing but negatives. I've yet to bring a positive since my return. I see no reason why I would even vote for myself. Because I understand if I was in your shoes, or on your side of the vote, I'd know what I would do. I'd vote to remove myself too. I'm not going to justify my actions. I'm fucked up. I'm sorry that I let you down. I hope you continue to prosper, succeed, and send it without me. I'm sorry I let you down. If there was another universe, well, I could do this all over again. I would pick the same people standing in this circle. If I do survive, which is most likely highly unlikely, there is no replacement I could ever look for. Because what I want is the family that sits right here. I could go do it in another gang, but it's not the same not what I want. I spent two years with you, B. A year and many months with everyone else. I'm sorry to have let you down. Before you do, shoot me in the face. Can I at least face the sunset? This is just bigger than... ...blooding out some, you know, newly prospects, you know. You're a founding member of this club. You were the person that brought me in to help you build your original vision for this club. Which, when I started, I, d I didn't even know the real reason why. I don't think most people did. This isn't a decision that we can spend, like, 20 minutes talking about it than do. The, the, the problem is, D, it's just... You don't need to explain. I understand. You don't need to justify yourself. I understand. I mean, what's the one thing we need more than anything else in this club? It's trust. The thing
thing you had when we brought in new members was every single person at the trust app. It's very clear that even after your time back that some people are still feeling the same way they did when I told them about your return. And I would fear that even some are probably worse off than they were back then. Same trust that Pez lost. Same trust that Wolfie lost. Same trust that Riley and Malachi lost. And now I know how they feel. A perspective I thought I would never see. I hate it. We killed Wolfie off a text that I didn't even get to read. That's how much I trusted you. You didn't even, we didn't even get to see it. You said, yeah, this text said that Kirk Jerkums, whatever. And he was one of the closest people I had in this city. And I still blooded his ass the fuck out in those mines because I, I trusted what the club was doing as a whole. To be honest, Pez dug his own grave. Riley and Malachi were maybe good to start with, but as soon as Benji got his claws into Riley, she was very easily persuaded into thinking that she could just take over by force. And she realized that she had no one backing her outside of really Malachi and maybe Freddy. It's just... I don't know how many things that I have to give D, you know? I just don't know what else I could even do. What the club can even do. I'm not asking for anything more. I think I know the outcome of what this will be. I'm sorry to have disappointed everyone here. And I'm sorry. Anything anybody else here wants to say, this is the whole point of me bringing him here, is I want him to have what he should have got eight months ago, and have a platform to speak to you. So if there is anything you do want to say before D leaves and you guys go away and decide what you think should happen, then now's the time. We see wants us to try and figure out what we want to do after. He's not getting shot or let go today. This is a, I, I want you, if you guys are going to decide on something, I want to make sure you have at least a good night's sleep to think about it. But this will be the last time I will give D an opportunity to speak to everybody here. At least in a public forum like this. B, I trust the people. I think they can make the decision today. Even if it means my fate is met today. I trust the members to make that. That ain't the time. There's no right or wrong answer. They can feel however they want to feel. The majority of the club is here. I guess I want to just say, you know, everything you've said. The, you were making some positive changes because there were some things you were actively trying to change. And I know you could. I just don't get why you didn't do that for other facets. I have no justification for that, Stevie. All I know is that I disappointed you and I let you down. Because you gave me the opportunity that I asked for, and uh, I disappointed you. I got a question. Yes. Is the club where it is now? is where you envisioned it when you started it? 
In some ways, yes. In some ways, no. But I realize that my dream can never be accomplished. Not because you don't have the ability to do so, but rather simply the fact that it was too perfect. And we don't live in a perfect world, as someone told me. In a perfect world, everything would be fine. I'd have your back and you'd have mine. We just easily let go of the emotions that follow us everywhere that we go. But instead, they're stuck to us. And they affect how we think, how we act. I don't think there's anything that I can say here that will uh, change my actions because my actions mean a lot more than my words. And you've heard my words many times. And so far they've all turned out to be disappointments, lies, and betrayals. But you know with your words we can hold you accountable for your actions. Fun. Is there people in the circle right now, Dundee, that you don't trust? And listen, there's no wrong answer. And I think part of this is communication. Because if there is a reason why you don't trust somebody, or don't have an issue with somebody, how do we know how to fix it? And there's been plenty of issues in this club where subjects or topics are not brought up, and we don't know how to fix them. And maybe you may have not have been the best at communicating things. But I think by you saying things, we'll know exactly what we can do to hold you accountable for that. And so it's just a simple yes or no, D. But once we know that answer, maybe there's a chance to rehabilitate. Maybe there's not. That's why there's no wrong answer, D. I don't trust the one I looked up to the most. I don't trust the one that I cared about so much. One I was so happy to see being our billabong every day. I'm sorry, Colin, but I don't trust you. And I never cared. I looked up to you. I really do. I tried to give you the chance, but I could never trust you. You shot me once and shot me twice. I can't sleep thinking you shoot me for a third time. Because I know I can never trust you, Colin. That's why you need to take this. I'm not taking that. I'm not taking that deep. I can't trust you, Colin. If I stay in this club, all I will have is just the inevitable. I don't trust myself, let alone someone else. I think, um, I think the club has changed for the better. And I change for the worst. I don't want to change. I like who I am. I like big dicking people around. I like starting wars for no reason. I like wasting money and throwing away everything that we have. I like robbing vaults just to shoot the cops to prove a point. I like shooting the Vargos because they said a stupid fucking smart remark. I like shooting CG. I enjoyed breaching the Mandem Bank. I love stealing boosts. I love hurting people. It's who I am. I'm a terrorist. A first degree murderer. I am a goddamn monster and all of you know who I am. So the fact that you are all so smart and yet none of you are stupid enough to see that you should have known this from the beginning who I am. I am a problem creator. 
not a solver. I'm sorry I let you down, but this is the inevitable. I create chaos, problems, and issues that will never go away because you are changing me. And deep down, this perfect person with compromise, that is not in me. That is someone else that you can never get from me. I can never change. I like the conflict. I like the problems. I like the issues. I will continue to create them. And if this is a BBMC who doesn't want them, then it's a BBMC who doesn't want me. And therefore I can't be in it. I'm done. I leave. You'd be a club without me. That's some ED. You don't, I don't even think you need a vote at this point. No, I don't. Well, then, D, if, uh, if that's how you feel, I think it's time to walk away from this club. But right, let it be known if you, uh, if you do that, there is no D in BBMC. It's over. Club moves on. It's like it has for everybody else that's either walked away or been taken out of this club. Your one sure last you rank right in this in this club is your your founding rank, and even you couldn't honor that for somebody else that left. I told him to walk but away, that's... and he didn't. I think I'm thinking with my emotions. Not my brain. But that's the truth. I ain't gonna sit here and lie to all of you and say that, oh, I'll change. I'll be this person that you want me to be. I'm just gonna spit it out. You want me in the club? There will be wars for stupid reasons. There's Norman up there, brother. Who gives a fuck? Fuck him. If you, if you keep me in this club, there will be conflict. If you keep me in this club, there will be wars. If you keep me in this club, there'll be times where we lose money for no reason. If you keep me in this club, there will be members who get hurt. Maybe not me intentionally, but I'll do something. I'm a ticking time bomb. So fine, B. You hold on to that for now. But do cast a vote. But I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm going to change. Because I can't. It's not possible. I am who I am. And you either live with that fact... Or you remove me. But I just hope during this time that you do think. I hope you remember the good times. Remember the times where we big dick people around. Remember the times where we did the convoy. Remember the times where we all rolled up to court for that fucking dickhead who, who shaved one of our heads and had a lawsuit for small claims court. We went around and fucked him afterwards. I hope you remember the good times in the 45 day war. I hope you remember the good time with the boost, the time we wiped the PD. I hope you remember all the times we just said fucking send it for the patch no matter what. You remember those times. You remember that that's exactly what I wanted. That's what I thrive off of. You question, do you want that? Do you want that chaos energy? Because if you do, then you want me. Sure. Do you want us though, D? I do. But I want, a, I want a club who will understand that I'm not saying I'm the victim. I'm not. But I know that BBMC during my time away has went to a different direction. That's not a negative. It went into a direction that is positive and helps the group expand and grow. And that is fine. But reality is, is that I'm, my personality is going to take that away. I love the big dicking. Cops around. I, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, like, I used to like the big dicking, okay? But, like, about, like, when I mean big dicking, I mean, like, big dicking cops around, okay? Like, it is it we want to fuck people over. Not, like, fuck people over, but, like, screw, <gasps> screw them. Not, like, screw people over, but as in, like, you know, we want to insert, do not insert dominance, but, like, we want to shoot them. Shoot them with our guns, you know? You know that's what I meant, but, but, like, 
Come on, guys. There's... Yeah, sure, I've made a couple of fuck-ups, but there's good time. There was a few good times, right? Can I say something? Of course. I know I haven't been around since, like, the beginning, beginning, but it's been a while. And you know what? Yeah, maybe there's part of us that doesn't, we're not, I don't know, maybe we don't do as many crazy fucking things. We still have and will continue to do crazy things. The, and maybe this is just my perspective. When I hear like, oh, fuck, like, the, the, you know, there was a fucking shootout and people got fucking caught. And you know what? Yeah, that fucking sucks, but that does come with the territory. We're always going to spend money on shit like wars. I think if somebody is fucking coming around and being a fucking dickhead, and uh, yeah, they should get fucking shot in the head. And it's happened. There's a lot of times when, I mean, not necessarily the same as big dicking, but in the times that you were here versus you were gone, the shit that I did didn't change. I'm still on those streets fucking hunting for cops that I think are weirdo and weirdos, and if I get my hands on them, I'm still going to fucking take body parts. So I get what you're saying, but at the same time, you can't be like, oh, like I like creating all these problems. I like doing all this stuff. Like, yeah, shit, fuck, look, that shit's always gonna fucking happen. We're always gonna do shit. People in this club are gonna be terrorists. They're gonna be murderers. People in this club are gonna make choices that cost a lot of fucking money or put them in jail for a really long time, or maybe put multiple members in the club in jail for a really long time. But we were I'm sending it. That. I did that the other day to Colin. Oopsies. We're, that's not the shit. That is not the shit that we're talking about. <laughs> when we bring you here to have this conversation. That is not the shit that we are talking about. Because, yeah, that's the issue, but... You know, that's something that fucking happens sometimes. If it happened more than others with some people, then... it fucking happened. But that's not what we're fucking talking about here. We're talking about the fact that when confronted and shown... Who the fuck is crunching and munching? Am I going insane? Anyways. No, no, sorry, sorry, that's me. Oh, okay. What I'm saying, it's not shit like, oh, I want to fucking go blow up the fucking, uh, you know, hospital. I can't remember what the new hospital is called. It's shit like almost killing Colin. It's shit like when we are doing play chases, you pulling a gun and jokingly shooting at the car that me and Shane were in. It's shit like fucking calling people by the wrong names. It's shit like It's an that. accident. I don't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Yeah, but you shouldn't have been pulling a gun on club members even for fun. That's the kind of shit. If you want to go out there and fucking, you know, like I said, if somebody's fucking out there fucking with you, like, yeah, you're facing this murder charge and this cop is involved. You want to fucking take her out. Why the fuck don't you bring the boys? I guarantee you that th there is a lot of people in the circle who will take any form of fucking punishment that we get from the state from the government, if we're fucking sending it, if we're sending it together and we understand why we're sending it together and we're holding it down as a group, I would gladly go down for terrorism. I would gladly go down for first degree murder if it means that I get to stand beside you guys and be and understand the reason why I did that. I would gladly be in another 45 day war if it means that I'm fucking protecting people and I understand the reason why. And I think, you know, maybe I'm speaking overtly, but I think there's a lot of fucking people in this club that would. The send it thing isn't the issue, it's 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 the smaller things, it's the things like fucking the fact that when you were gonna go do this cop shit, you bring somebody from another gang instead of fucking just talking to the club about it, or being like, okay, how do we work this out? Or, I mean, fuck, if you want to go kill that person, fucking just go and kill them together with the fucking club. It's this weird separation that even before you got shot in the head, you tended to have. The only people you would ever really bring on stuff were maybe Colin and Barry? If it was something serious? And you know what? For once, I was actually thinking you were getting better. Like, you're saying, like, oh, all I've done is bring disappointments, but when I hear stories about how, you know, you're starting to get to know the prospects and, you know, you're not fucking calling people by the wrong name anymore and shit like that, that shit that I was like, yeah, you are making progress. But you're so stuck in thinking that the fact that you like chaos is the reason that you, and like norman and all this shit is the reason that you got blooded out or the reason that people have like grudges or don't trust you or something like that but that's not the reason 
Because like I said, there's a lot of people here would go down for ascended attitude if we were just in it together, but you were consistently good at separating yourself from everybody else and putting yourself in a situation where we're not sending it together. And you know what, I'm like, this is just one of those things where I'm just saying everything. I'm, I've been around for a long fucking time and you wanna fucking sit here and tell Colin you can't fucking trust him when, you know what, we had a perfect opportunity and we were given this second chance to actually rebuild trust because somebody else in the club put their fucking neck on the line for you to give you a second opportunity. And instead, we're so focused on the mistakes of our past and what we perceive as mistakes that we could actually not see the things that needed to change and grow. And like, I don't know, maybe maybe I'm fucking wrong about what I'm saying about how everybody would gladly go down for ascended attitude if we were just fucking sending it together and not having any of these weird, like, oh, I didn't tell you why things about it. But like, that is not the same, like fucking accidentally, you know, or like, on purposely starting a shootout with cops that ends up with a bunch of people in jail and like fucking all sending it is not on the same level as considering murdering the fucking VP of the club. There's not the same thing and they're not the same reasons. That's a different thing because there's a difference between sending it and being chaotic and causing problems and just having a blatant disregard for the people that you say you want to be your family. And you can't say, you know, you're saying, Natalie, like, oh, I, I do when you're basically saying the only thing that you're not willing to do is just send it with us instead of fucking sending it yourself. And I'm sorry. I didn't bring BBMC on the cop ship because I knew that there'd be a highly likely chance that uh, it'd be another Knight's Charge. So I bought another group. When I shot Eugene, it was a last ditch effort because I realized mid heist, it was because I realized I may have been fucking Colin's court case. And it was either fuck myself or fuck Colin and I thought, well, none of those are acceptable. So I fucked Eugene instead. I do isolate a lot of times away from the club. I guess I like to be more solo than I thought. Something that I need to change. But I've said that too many times, and I've promised it too many times, and they've just been... I've just disappointed too many people. And... I don't think I can change. Uh, no one else is followed by myself. You don't think you can start letting us in and letting us send it with you? Is that what you're saying? Because that's pretty much what it comes down to. Is you stop running off and just doing things without having the trust in us to have your back no matter what decision you make. You're not alone. You're choosing to be alone. I remember back when I was a hang around and chain shot Benji who was in the Vagos at the time and I remember how what split the club at that point was being willing to stick together and have each other's back or wanting to give in to somebody else or not stick together and the people that left were the people who didn't want to stick together so it's just I guess interesting to see it happen again Here we are. Like I've gone through one of these like seven different fucking times now. Jeez. All right, well, that's all you uh, have to say, D, then maybe go wait by your car, I guess. Because there is still one fact of the matter is CG's breathing down our necks and the only reason we're not at war with them right now is because they uh, we promised them that whatever we did to you, uh, they'd know about it.
Barry, in the meeting a few days ago, you uh, snorted yeah. something. You doing drugs? Yeah, I'm a criminal. Why are you doing drugs now? Why not? Fuck a motor club, I'll do whatever the fuck I want. But the best decision to make? Do drugs? I think it's a better decision than shooting an OG of CG in the head than, you know, kind of brushing it aside. You think right now consuming a drug that impairs your decision making in a conversation about <sighs> removing a member that's been here since the start is the best decision to make. Did you take that drug, Barry? Or did you have no choice but to take that drug, Barry? Because you've been doing that a lot, I've been noticed. And then you start sniffling your nose and going, ah. Are you addicted to drugs? Oh my God. If, if you're, if you're going to stand on the hill that taking some cocaine what do I got being to lose, Colin? Cocaine is 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 really the the route to go about right now. It's not, brother. Now, if you want us to take a vote, go about your car and we can take a vote. Oh, you can take a vote. Oh, he's the... But uh, before I go, I'll uh, say some negative one thousand shit. I know I've done some dumb shit, but uh. Other than myself, has there been anyone else in this club that, uh... Been shot in the back of the head twice? Can anyone... One? Intentionally... On people's backs? Uh, and if, if not, can someone tell me how many times I've gone out of my way and intentionally... Uh, on purpose, knowing fully what I was doing, shot a club member in the back of the head? I'd like to hear a single name. Uh, you're talking about intentionally shooting a member? Oh, I'm keeping it a secret from the rest of the club. Well, there's that and there's taking choices away from the club. I still haven't heard a name. Well, one, one I think to stand out would be Pez. Pez, he wouldn't leave the billabong when we all told him to leave. He stayed, we gave him multiple warnings. Oh, no, warnings. no, no, but that's, that's, that's still a fucking choice that was taken. If you want to cry tears for pairs, be my guest, Colin. But no one's going to cry with you. Colin, you shot me in the back of the head twice, and then you tell me to trust you? Colin, I can never trust you again. And I know this isn't going um, to be saving my vote, but seriously, I can't. I fucking cannot. Then why, the, then why the hell did you put the jacket back on, Dundee? And I mean that. Because I really hoped that I could one day, but I can't. I guess I just put it on because I want to pretend. Oh. And I also put it back on. Because it's my club. Barry. If I walk away, or if this club decides to kill me and take me away, reality is... You're just in my shadow. And Barry Benson, I'm proud of you. Because you are the best person I've ever created. And when I leave, I'm sure for months down the line, or if I get to stay months down the line, I'll still be getting cause to deal with your conflicts. Because whilst I've been gone, everyone else still sees me as leader.